too dark? Is it need brightness? No. I cannot hear a thing. <laughs> there is watching. Of course there isn't. Because <laughs> I went live. Because I'm erratic and sporadic and I just went live just for the giggles. I'm bored. Well, hi, Emily D. You're the first one here, sweetie. Woohoo! I'm doing this because I'm bored. <laughs> oh, happy hump day. Yeah, you too. I love the look that you did with your Get Ready With Me collab. Charmaine, yay! I'm bored, so I'm going live. <laughs> Oh my goodness. Yep. And sorry, but I've got the fan on in the background. Other than that, it uh, it's too warm. Hey, cooking. What you up to? We got four people so far. Yay. Who's lurking? Oh, thank you for the thumbs up. <laughs> I really don't have anything to do. I mean, I could do... A Timu haul that's like from April that I haven't done anything with, but <laughs> let's just see how it goes. So, cooking, where are you from? I'm in Southern California, about a hundred miles north of Los Angeles. So, actually, I don't know what the temperature is right now because the phone is right there. Oh, do I need to go up? Brighter? Does that help? Oh, I'm in California, too. 805 represent. Yeah. <laughs> okay, so you're, you're about 400 miles north of me in six hours. <laughs> or something like that. I'm down in Santa Barbara, so. Coastal. We had fog this morning. <laughs> I honestly don't know what the temperature is right now. So, mm -hmm. Charmaine, are you home or at work? And Emily D, you're two hours ahead of me, so dinner is over and done. I think Charmaine's only an hour ahead of me. Yeah, Northern California has been getting it a lot hotter than, than the area that I'm in. You're home. Okay, well, hi. I'm not sure if you, have you ever caught one of my lives before, Charmaine. This is me just winging it. Just me winging it, bored, happy hump day. I think I texted Kim's a little of a lot, and Guru, and Mary Catherine, and Kimmy, and that's about it. Jesse! Hi, Jesse! Yay! <laughs> I do have a Timu. I could do a Timu. <laughs> it's a big Timu bag, and it's from April, and it's just been sitting in my hallway for... A long time. It's a big bag, too. <laughs> oh, can't complain too much, Jesse, because nobody will listen. <laughs> um, no, no kids. I have a cat, and my cat is currently a snotty cat. So she may have to go back and get... Um... Oh, I've opened it. <laughs> I just haven't done a video. <laughs> From... April 26th. I've done like 30 hauls. This will be technically video number 18. Yeah, lots of reviews. <laughs> we could open it. I mean, the pricing really doesn't matter at this point. <laughs> Jesse. <laughs> well, we can go ahead and do this. Um, let's see. What do we have? I'm just going to start pulling things out of this massive bag and whatever anybody sees, everybody sees. Um, so this is actually something that I saw on Mary Catherine Loves Cats. And I don't know if you can see this. These got little hooks. So you're supposed to stick it down your drain and like twirl it. And it's supposed to bring up the hair and the clog. And it's just plastic, you know. She says it's very good. It hasn't broken. And they came in like a two-pack, I think. So I figured, you know, why not? <laughs> but yeah, it's supposed to be a drain unclogger. It's got these little barbs all across the bottom. So. 
Yeah, I understand. I, I, I've done that a couple of times, too. I've tried one of their um, Biore Nose Strips knockoffs. So, um, and it wasn't as nice, but it still did a, job, a good job on it. Let's see. This one is actually, I think they market it as a cheese holder. But you really can do anything with it. You just, let's see. How do you open it? I know it's got to pop open somehow. Is it taped? Oh, there we are. Oh, okay. Well, it comes off that way. Oh, I think it just bends back, so you can, hopefully that won't break, so you can pull the slice of cheese out of there. Some ridiculous price. Um, at least this one didn't break. I do get some plastic things that break. Um, this next item I believe is a garlic roller. And of course I had to get it in hot pink. I can get it out of its bag now. What are you? Yeah, it doesn't see what it is. Of course it doesn't. Um, now I noticed that the edging, I don't know if you can see the edging against my hair, is a little bit crumbly. It's not as nicely refined. But you put your garlic in there and just sort of roll it. So it helps get the excess skins off. <laughs> so I don't have fresh garlic too often, but as long as I don't have to touch it, it'll be fine. Of course, it's hot pink. It's me. <laughs> Let's see. The next item is bought for the boyfriend. I'm not sure I still have or not. Um, that's another story. But it's, I think it's got a regular USB micro USB and it comes with a little propeller and you're just supposed to stick it in the end of your cell phone which I can't do that right now and it's supposed to generate a little breeze so if you're sitting in the car with your cell phone and the car is off and you don't want to drain your battery you still have something that will plug into your phone and drain that battery instead so I did get one of those in green again for the boyfriend I don't know if I still have or not. <laughs> Long story. Um, next was a little, just a little to-do post-it pad, so to speak, a little sticky pad, and just says little things to do, and it's got little circles so you can check, check, check. Again, very simple items. I love all these little things. I really do. I'm not sure if you can see that, but those are ear wires, also known as shepherd hooks. Um, so they're jewelry findings for making earrings. And so I got a pack of, um, how many are you? I think it's 100, maybe it's only 50. I'm not sure, but the price was ridiculous. And I usually get them um, off of an American site called um, Fire Mountain Gems. That's, uh, I think, in Washington or Oregon. And I thought, you know, these are... Um, spring spring and ball I don't know because they've got you can see the little balls there's a spring there um, so I thought I'd try those out the next item is I thought it might be interesting to either see if I could hang just a light curtain rod behind me and put up just some little shears and so these were to hold the the um, the rod and they just stick them to the wall. I don't know what damage it would do to the wall, um, but it came in a pack of two. And I thought, okay, let's try this. Let's see. Next item is just a um, like a little lippy scrub, and it came individually packaged. So when we get a lot of like the little lippies, uh, it's in a double package and I don't quite want to take it out, but it is a tiny little spatula, pink again, that comes with its own handle and it's just for doing like the lip masks and the lip scrub. So you don't, you're not using one of the big ones that you would use for um, your uh, facial spatulas when you're doing uh, like mud masks and such as that. This is just a tiny little lip scrub. And I think I got a bunch of lip scrubs in um, a ColourPop mystery box and um, 
And then I think I got some more in the Busy Beauty box. Hi, Lori! How are you doing today, sweetheart? I know you had to have... Uh, it was sort of a m bigger day, momentous day. A lot of stuff getting done there, so I hope you're doing okay. Hi, Alma! How are you doing? Just doing a little Timu unboxing on the fly. Um, this next item, now this will be interesting to try. Um, it's supposed to help clean the bottom of uh, your pots and pans. You know how it usually starts getting darker and stuff like that um, over time and with wear and, you know, grease likes to stick, etc. So this is supposed to be something you're supposed to go on the bottom of like your pots and pans to help get them shiny um, on the on the bottom on the outside, not on the inside. So I think it's uh, like a little cleaner stick. It was something ridiculous, like 39 cents, and I thought, okay, you know, if it doesn't work, no harm, no foul. This really is a big bag. I probably should have thought this better of this. Um, I did get some rings, and I'm just pulling things out by random. Gosh knows how long this is going to be, if anybody's actually going to watch it. So, <laughs> after the fact. There are six people watching. I love you all. Thank you. Um, this is just, um, I think this is one ring to rule them all, honestly. Um, I think it is a Lord of the Rings um, ring. Yes, it is. I don't know if you're going to be able to see this because of the ring light, but you can just see the etching there in... Um, yes, I know. I'm not even sure what side's up. See? You can see the etching there, so it's one ring to rule them all because I'm a geek girl. And I, I, I want my Lord of the Rings stuff. So it looks like it, it fits the middle finger, which probably means it is a size 9. And it is. Um, hi, are you coming to visit? <laughs> hi. Yeah, it's not coming out of your nose. I don't know if you can see Dara. You can barely see her. Say hi. Hmm? I've already given you treatsies. Apparently I'm salty. I've already given you treatsies. You've had like 14 treatsies. Seriously. Alright. Alright. I love you. Go away. Go away. I'll, I'll blow your nose for you. Yes, I will. Okay. <laughs> yeah, single woman talking to her cat. <laughs> anyway. Okay. I've given you treats, girl. And you don't like any of the Timu toys, so... Nope. 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 Um, toothbrush. It is supposed to be like a micro toothbrush that has like a bazillion little bristles, so it's going to be super soft. Um, and I liked it that it was self-contained in its own little travel thing. Um, also keeps it a little more germ-free if you are holding onto it in the bathroom and still putting in a holder. This will help keep the aeration of stuff away from your toothbrush. Nobody thinks about that. You flush the toilet, things get aerated. So, not all of us have, like, you know, perfect, uh, perfectly clean toilets 100% of the time. This is a teeny tiny little pack. It's only 10 of deep cleansing makeup removers in avocado. So, again, something just to try, something good for travel. Throw it in your purse, throw it in your desk drawer at work, throw it in your glove box so whenever you need to do touch-ups or just need to be a little freshen up instead of a baby wipe you have a clean remover wipe hi chef sketty how you doing hun did i get two of them apparently i got two of them i've done that several times that i've bought so much timu that i forget what i bought i think i think have like three bottle cleaners <laughs> so the next item and chef Getty is obviously a chef. She does a lot of um, little shorts and demonstrations on food. This is an egg separator, like a stainless steel egg separator. So, I don't know if you can see that. But yeah, I got a little stainless steel egg separator. The prices are really good. Definitely, I agree with that. Literally, there's probably like 70 things in here. <laughs> Um, this next item was, it's for like little bits of condiments or seasonings that you want to take to work with you. Um, 
some of the stuff that they sell that are, are name brand like Glad or, or Ziploc or whatever, they're just too big. And this is just enough that it just, it's tiny. You can put, you know, your seasoning mix or whatever if you like your Cajun seasoning and you have stuff to take to work but you, you don't want it, you know, totally absorbed or a little bit of Parmesan cheese to go on your, you know, boxed lasagna, whatever it is. Hanging out with Kim. Hi, Kimmy. <laughs> Just showing off some Timu stuff because I was bored and I figured, okay, that's, let's just do something. Now, these are little buffer emery board type things. Don't worry, chef, you're good. <laughs> so I got a little pack and there's like five in a pack. Um, yeah, they're just purple, purple things. <laughs> But they are little little emery board and um, buffers that you can use on your, your feet, your fingers, whatever it is. Um, then there's just five in a pack. Hey, next one. Aha! So we had the silver ear wire, or the gold ear wires before. Here are the silver ear wires. And again, um, I like making jewelry, and when I do make stuff, I do tend towards earrings. A lot. Um, so this is what's called a shepherd's hook, as you can see. And it's got what's called a, a ball and spring. So you've got the ball down here, see it lifts, and then you've got the spring. So there's another pack. Again, I decided to try them. They're, it's not silver, it's silvery. Hello, there's 11 people watching and seven thumbs up. You gotta catch up, people. <laughs> and then I bought a true pack of teeny tiny emery boards. Again, this can be tucked in a wallet. It can be tucked just about anywhere. <laughs> You know, that you could um, just leave a mine or two long right now, so and they're they're very uneven, but <laughs> hence yeah, the emery boards. All right, next thing is, I don't know if you can see this, to clean out straws. Now, this is not going to clean out the really big ones that go to, like, the water jugs, um, but for smaller tumblers, etc., that come with... The, the straw that's attached to the lid, this would be very good indeed. And again, it was a three pack, um, a straw brush is what they're calling it. It's almost a surprise to me because it's been sitting in a, in a bag for since April. Um, let's see, who and what are you? I'll just open the little zippered pouch and find out. Oh, they're scrubbies, they're little scrubbies. I think I first saw these on uh, Brandy's unboxing and more, I want to say. They're just little scrubbies. Um, I think that they are okay for um, for stainless steel. I don't think they're for, um, you can clean the refrigerator and stuff like that, but I wouldn't use it on your non-stick uh, pots and pans. It's not really for that, but it's good for, uh, you know, your, just your regular dishes, your cleaning out stuff. So it was just like a four pack. I don't even think it was a dollar. Might've been 89 cents. Aw, oh, that's sweet, Lori. Yeah. Hi, Nora. How you doing? Stock Explorer. Chef Skitty's here, too. Both of our ladies that have visited each other. Yes, they have. I love those. I love those when they get to visit each other. We do. I'm going to throw some of this stuff away. Um, this time I got a gemstone, and it was an amethyst. Now, some of the things I know with Timu, you have to be careful with their gemstones because I think they they misname them or they've come up with names that we've never heard on this side of the world. But this is definitely, this is definitely an amethyst. I'm not sure if it's just straight amethyst, a banded amethyst, but I do collect gemstones. I probably have a hundred of them um, labeled and boxed up that I've collected at the gem fairs, etc. over the years. And I really do like that. But it was a good price. It wasn't exorbitant. Um, next one, I think. Does that have a bug in it? It's got something in it. Anyway, um, this is like a rice mold. You want a lemon tree, but it won't grow here. <laughs> um, so this is a rice mold. You pack the, the sticky rice in here and 
you know, flop it down or here's a, a smaller one, you know, so that's, that's all that is, is basically just a little rice mold if you wanted to get fancy and then you could, the, the bottom pushes out so you can push it out. Um, so I thought that was cute. Just something to be fancy smancy. I did pick up a package of what I believe are refrigerator stickers. Um, so we've got a roll so you can write what it is and the date and everything like that, you know. I guess I'm spoiled, Charmaine, in the fact that California is very much, just like Florida where Chef Sketty and, and uh, Nora the Stock Explorer are, that, that we're citrus states. We're very heavily citrus states. So here where I live in Santa Barbara, there are lemons and oranges, there are avocados, um, all sorts of, of citrus. Um, so literally people have them in their backyards. You can't get rid of them after a while. <laughs> it truly is because we have so much sunshine, really. There's like 300 days of sunshine here. Um, and so far, knock on wood, wherever that may be, um, we've done pretty well with uh, our winter, had enough. Um, who did I miss? Mr. Mr. J. I don't know who I missed. I'm so sorry. Well, there's 12 of you. Please give me a thumbs up. I think I only have eight thumbs up right now. Um, hi, BBC Homestead. Hello. I, I'm missing people, so I have to like see what Nora's saying down here at the bottom. So just opening up um, <laughs> Oh, I love apricots, but they have such a short, like, ripe growing season. But, oh! Speaking of the scrubby brush, the, the, the brush that's supposed to clean out your, your tall water bottles, this is probably number three. I keep forgetting I bought them, and I look at it and go, oh, that's a good idea, and then I buy another one. So who knows? They may end up in a giveaway at some point in time, because I think I've got them coming out my ears. That's the problem. I buy so much on Timu, and then I forgot what I've bought because purchased. Because the bags are in the hallway, there's more bags in the front room, and I go through the bags to make sure nothing is, is broken. Um, <laughs> but then I forgot I bought it. Um, I don't know if Chef can appreciate this. This is a little strainer. Um, it's tied down right now, otherwise you'd be able to go But it's a little strainer that, that holds on to the food as well. I thought that was pretty clever. Um, so yeah, it's, it's tied shut right now, but something that you can scoop and hold on to and then transfer. So I thought that was pretty good. Let's see. Can I get that back in the bag? I think Kim had a recent Timu order too, didn't you, Kim? Avocado tree, tomatoes, peppers. Lori Daniels has a green thumb. Yes, she does. You'd snatch a wonton, I know. And actually, I think I have pot stickers in there. Um, but I think the pot stickers I only have to use just like a, a regular frying pan. Okay, this is going to be hard to show. But the bottom of my toilet, they usually use some sort of caulking. I'm a big girl, so things start to get rocking with use after a while. So I thought this might be a better way of like keeping everything clean and kind of, you know. Um, so it's tape that goes around like the bottom of the toilet or around. So it, it sort of acts like a, a caulking tape type of thing. So that was one thing that I did buy. Just this pure white, 3.5 centimeters wide, which, you know, me as an American can't do metrics, but good enough, maybe half inch, maybe half inch or so, so. Okay, now I'm missing part of this. There's 14 people. I have eight thumbs up. Please give me some love and give me some thumbs up. My Tom Thumb is on the other side of the room, so I can't give you Tom Thumb. So please give this video a thumbs up. Um, these are many, many, many cotton swabs. Um, and you can kind of use them for cleaning out stuff. Um, it's not really meant for ears, body parts, or whatever. Um, but you know those tiny little grooves in your um, your water bottles because you've got the little O-ring that uh, before you pop it up? That would also help get things clean in there too. And I thought that might be fun to try. Or some certain parts of your windowsill that you just need to get the little bits out. Things like this would help. So I thought I'd give that a shot. Well, I just lost a whole bunch of people. I knew it. Um, I bought a colorful batch 
You'll love this. You'll love this, Charmaine. Colorful batch of measuring spoons, because you can never, ever, ever have enough measuring spoons. Mm, I don't know if you show us two people. <laughs> I don't. I don't know. <laughs> so anyway, colorful, woo, colorful um, measuring spoons. Now, I shop and talk and type all day long, and. I do notice that as I get older, and I'm 59 years old, that um, my hands start getting weaker over time. And so <laughs> I figured this little thing, it's a little exerciser just to help you use your muscles a little bit more. It, it's like the TheraBands, if you've ever used, like, gone to PT for your arms or your legs or whatever, that they use the little TheraBands. And I thought, Okay, well that's interesting. I can feel it right through here. So you can be watching TV. Some people do curls with their, you know, weights and stuff like that. And I thought this would just be fun. <laughs> well, now Chef, have you ever, um, Chef Skitty, have you ever bought from um, Timu before? It's an addictive pleasure. <laughs> And, and I do have links, I do have an affiliate link or an influencer link in, in any of my Timu videos, I'm sure after this live goes up I'll, I'll probably figure out a description box, but I just thought that that was, that was something that you could do anytime you're bored, you know. Um, I'm not sure about this, I've seen it before, and I'm not quite sure how it's going to work, but it's supposed to be for your toilet. And I think it's a cleanser sort of thing that you pop this off and it extrudes the cleanser in a flower shape and you stick it against the wall of your toilet on the inside of the bowl, right? And so it's supposed to dissolve and clean at the same time. So you just make a little ring of flowers around your toilet bowl. So that's what that is. I like trying these silly things. Now I've, I've had stuff before. I think there was one item that I bought from Tinu that was a cleanser that you popped in the little tablets, one in the bowl and one in the tank, and it was supposed to do anything. Hi, Nay! <laughs> I'm missing stuff. Okay. Um, this is another, I think, little face brush. And I don't know if this one takes batteries or not. Oh, it does work really good? Okay, okay, that's good to know. Well, this is a facial brush, I believe. I don't, no, I don't think this one, um, but it can help you if you're, you know, putting on stuff, whether you're doing the dry brushing for your face to help exfoliate, um, or if you put like a mud mask or something on, um, or even a cleanser that it can, scrub a dub dub so that's what that is um, let's go ahead and put that back in the bag I'm not even close to being done seriously I mean I've got my list right here but it doesn't really matter because the price has changed back from whatever okay this I had to buy because who doesn't want a pink tribble Star Trek fans anyone anyone keychain little puffy I don't know if it's rabbit's fur. I'm sorry for... Or faux rabbit's fur. Don't know. I just wanted it because it's a pink tribble because I'm a Star Trek girl. <laughs> so there's that. <laughs> now we've got a couple of these. Now, Kim? Kimmy? Kimmy. <laughs> Have you tried the nail wraps from Timu? I think I've got two of them and they all actually look exactly the same and I don't remember doing that. They're both purple. But, yeah, they're nail wraps. No drying time, no smudging, lasts up to seven days. Comes with a little um, emery board and back, so I guess you put them on and then go... You have, but not that particular one. Oh, okay, I know you get Lily and Fox, or Fox and Lily, as a subscription, I believe. Um, but, yeah, I just thought, well, these are purple. They're purple with sparkles. Or is one maroon and oh no, maybe one's maroon. Okay, that's like wine. 
and that one's purple. You can't really tell the difference too much because of the lighting, but I thought, you know, why not? Why not? Kim's nails and Mary Catherine's nails, they all look really nice. And I know they, they're using, I think Mary Catherine does more of the press-on ones, and don't you use more of the, the real nail polish ones, Kimmy? Um, this next item, once again, is for cleaning around like the bottom of the toilet. So it's got like a little two-headed brush, um, things like that. So, yeah, just three pieces. It just is a brush made in China. So that was something else. I like trying these little things, and if they if they don't work, that's that's fine. They they cost me less than a dollar. I just I like trying new things and it trying to make you know keeping things clean fun. Lillian Fox, no subscription. Use nail wraps. Mary uses dashing diva press ons. I knew it was something. I know you both did stuff. Sorry for all the ASMR sort of noises. Really, that word is used way too much. ASMR. Honestly, the things that people think are ASMR, I really don't think. Isn't ASMR something that actually is supposed to get an emotional response from? Who gets an emotional response from tapping? That's what I ask you. Love Carlos, but <laughs> I don't know if his ASMR videos are really ASMR. Anyway, tiny little um, thing, which would be good for the pot stickers if I don't use that thing. <laughs> It's a pretty, it's a pretty color. Um, I think when you pull it, it stays together. So if you push it in, yeah, 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 yeah. pull it, it locks. I got blue instead of pink. I don't think they had pink. Oh, here's two more of those. What do I have down here? Two more of those um, things that uh, you can stick on the wall and it holds like a rod. So one was, um, maybe I got two packs. I don't know. See? That's the problem. I can't remember anymore. Alright, next big thing is again, kitchen-wise, this does seem to be a kitchen-oriented thing and I believe this is either supposed to be a combination of holding your lid as well as holding your spoon. Spoon. <laughs> so you can park your lid right here. Right? And then you can put your slotted spoon or, or whatever right here. Um, looks, it looks like something that could go through the dishwasher. It just says cooking partner. <laughs> Lovely beige color. Um, what? One of my recent videos, I don't know if anybody reads, reads my description boxes, but at the very end, oh, 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 it was the ColourPop mystery box that I kept saying the word terracotta and uh, like beige terracotta mauve. And so in the very bottom of my description box going, fun drinking game. Every time Teresa says terracotta, take a drink of something. Pack of straws. Why? Just in case, because sometimes if you order something and there's like no straws. So these have the little mini part up here. <laughs> Sound effects for free. Um, so I just thought, you know, this is my throw in my drawer. Throw in one of the drawers in the kitchen, just in case. This I got because of, oh, I know Mary Catherine got it, but I actually saw somebody else first. Robin, Robin, oh, I'm going to mispronounce her last name, Robin Sadowski. Don't think I'm pronouncing the last name. Robin, short hair, um, deeper voice, Robin, I saw it on Robin's multi-jar opener, cool, yeah, <laughs> but I think I saw it on, on Robin's uh uh, channel first and I think um, she got a green one and then I want to say Mary Catherine also got one. Mary Catherine loves cats and I want to say she got a blue one but red because I keep picking up red stuff because when I actually had Timu PR um, I picked up a whole container of red utensils red with wooden handles so you had the, the silicone bits at the top and then you had the wooden handles down below and so I keep picking up red stuff so since I have arthritis in the hands it didn't work for you? Was it just the wrong size jars or just doesn't want to like open and close? Kimmy saying she got one too. Here is something nail oriented. Okay, so when you're painting your nails, I'm I'm not particularly neat. <laughs> so 
At least I think am I doing this right? Oh, there we are. It's the wrong size, but you get the idea that <laughs> when you're painting your nails, again, this is the wrong size, you overlap and you can sometimes, you know, make a mess of it. So you find the, the nail thing that fits you <laughs> And that way you're painting, if you go over the edge, then you just, you know, get it on this. So I thought, okay, that's interesting. So you, I just have to figure out, like, what size fits what finger. And I don't know if they're ring sizes. They're 26 pieces, 10 sizes. Apply nail polish with these over the top of your fingers. So you try and stay neat. I just pulled the Charmaine and I dropped something. So... Um, <laughs> I don't know what it is. <laughs> I'll figure out what it is. Um, but yeah, they're curved for natural nails. Apply nail polish with easier. They do need to double check that syntax sometimes. I really, really think so. Um, this is just a little feather duster or fluffy duster. Um, got a, like a little silicone coated handle. It goes pretty far. Look at that. So dust, dust, dust. dust. So I thought it was cute. <laughs> Could I have gotten something like this at the Dollar Tree? Well, probably, but I can't get to the Dollar Tree, or it's very, very difficult. And um, I'm sure you can pop it off. Yeah, it, it unhooks or whatever, so you can just throw it in the wash, hand wash it, whatever. Oh, I know. Isn't that an annoying, Lori? Tap, 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 tap. I don't get it. I don't think it's ASMR. Really, I don't. ASMR is supposed to have, like, a lovely euphoric effect or something, you know? Uh, tapping? Anyway, I like Carlos's videos just because he's got all the pretty stuff. I swear that man has so much pretty stuff, so I like trying to guess which which uh, uh, lip gloss he's going to pull out of, out of his uh, bin, <laughs> so... Anyway, this is what we have. We have that. Oh, we're getting down a little bit further. Um, we have some washcloths, wash towels, microfiber. Um, there's one, two, I think there's four of them in here. They're all this sort of coral pinky orange with the, the little black hound's tooth or, or what have you on the edge of it. Not that bad. I mean, you can use it as a washcloth. It is very fluffy. Um, you can probably use it to do towels. I'm not sure of the linting factor on these, but um, I thought and they have little hang-ups too. They got where you can hang it up. So if it is a dish towel to help um, you know, keep things nice and neat in the kitchen, then um, they should be soft. They should be soft enough for glassware. Um, I'm not sure if anybody else has... Um, you know, any professional experience with, uh, I, I, I've purchased bar towels, actual professional bar towels in the past, um, just because I worked at a place called Mission Linen Supply here in Santa Barbara, and so we bought a lot of textiles, as you can imagine, for the hospitality and uh, restaurant industry. This does seem to be quite a bit of kitchen stuff. It's just been sitting in the bag in my hallway since, like, the end of April, first week of May. And we've got another one of those little scoops to scoop them. Um, again, I don't know how this is going to do, but it's a scoop them. So maybe if you want to scoop and drain, this would be fine. Oh, whoops, I couldn't see that fast enough, Lori. Um, something about using the metal ones, it flashed by too fast. Again, <laughs> more kitchen stuff. Again, bottle washing because it's rainbow. <laughs> Charmaine is not the only one that likes rainbows. So I love rainbows too. So I got it because it was rainbow and it's good to clean bottles and jars and stuff like that. When you recycle your glass jars, you're supposed to clean them out. Metal ones with the scrubby to clean them out. There you go. <laughs> I can't see you... Chef Skitty said something again. Yeah, wow, I'm missing a lot. I'm so sorry. I hope I, I know you talk amongst yourselves. <laughs> anyway, we've got a scrubby thing. Again, wow, I really must have gone all out with uh, the kitchen stuff. There must have been some sort of a sale back at the end of April, beginning of May. There we go, Charmaine. Um, this is a teeny tiny ice, cream, ice cube tray. And 
I tend to go to, for small ice cube trays. Um, I'm going to do something. i got to tilt this because I don't know. Sorry for the fingers. Um, i got to plug my phone in just because I'm going to be tilting at windmills a little bit here. Um, just because I think I'm losing power on my phone. Um, this is a cute little ice cube tray in that it's got tiny little holes. Either that or my phone is doing something weird. Hold on just a sec. What is my phone doing? No, I'm at 51%. Stop being that way. <laughs> okay, so. Um, and then you put this over the top and pour the water on top because it's got the tiny little holes. So you end up with teeny tiny little circular ice cubes, which I'm betting will pop inside like a bottle of water. They look about the right size, like you could pop them in a bottle of water. I'm thinking that. And I don't have that much room in my freezer. I live in an apartment, so I'm not going to have like a lot of space up there. I, I am a grab-and-go girl, so my breakfast is something that's frozen. My lunch is something that's frozen that I'm grabbing and going in the morning um, when I go to work. So I thought this would be cute. I could either do it here or I could take it to work as well. There is no ice machine at work. This next item is hot pink. And it's a little vinyl um, makeup bag, wallet, whatever you want to call it. Um, it is lined in black. Um, again, it would probably fit my phone. Um, a little holder for some credit cards or some cash. Um, a lip gloss, you know just something grab and go very quickly um, just a little wristlet so to speak so next item is <laughs> chef if you're still with me <laughs> I do keep buying the kitchen stuff which I am not a chef I'm not even the great cook you know um, but again I keep thinking of things how to pick stuff up here you are. Chef is still here. Again with the little, yeah, 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 yeah. <laughs> Again, slotted. So whatever is, you know, greasy or drained. These are stainless steel, I'm assuming. At least I hope they are. Um, and again, picking up stuff, maybe something bigger like French toast or a grilled cheese sandwich. You just have to be careful if you've got um, nonstick pans. But if you're dealing with like cast iron or something like that, there you go. I did buy a whole bunch of kitchen stuff. So I know where this stuff is going after I'm done here. Just a ladle. They didn't have red. So it's a ladle with a drainer. So it's got a little spout on one side. And then if you want to tip it uh, to get more of, uh, you know, drain juice or whatever. So it's multi-purpose that you can pour with one side and then drain with another. And then, uh, like, if you're making chili or something or beans or something and you just want whatever the vegetable is out of the water, <laughs> scoop, drain, <laughs> or scoop and pour. Really, we should have come in red. That would match the rest of the stuff in my kitchen, but there you go. There we are getting down to the bottom. Okay. All right. Again, cannot demonstrate, but this is a little nightlight, and it should be able to go in like a USB a regular USB charge, so it's probably not going to fit on your phone. I don't know if it'll fit on anybody's tablet, but I was just thinking that it's nice to have just a little night light somewhere um, that you can plug it in. Like I've got um, where I charge my phone in the front room, obviously there's a, a slot, so it could be like a little night light in the front room when I'm not using the charger with the, the cord. And I thought, okay, just a little tiny little you know, bitty night light. Let's see what it says. Uh, USB mini LED lamp, 5 volts, made in China. Can't read the rest of it. <laughs> so, um, yeah. Let's see. Oh, okay. This is either going to be, this is supposed to be what they're calling, I think, a forever pencil or a perpetual pencil. 
and that it doesn't act like your regular number two pencil. For some reason, whatever the material this is made out of, I don't know if it's some sort of graphite. Night, night, Kim. Say hi to your mom for me. Kimmy, Kimmy, Kimmy. Um, do I have anything? I don't think I have anything to write on. Let's see. Do I? Do I? Okay, so we got a post-it note. Um, again, it's not supposed to act like your regular graphite, but it does. Wow, oh, you can't even see that. Here we are. So yeah, it's not supposed to wear down like a regular pencil. So I don't know if it's graphite or if it's slate. Remember back in like the 1800s, they would used to have like slate boards. It wasn't a chalkboard. It's a weird noise. Sorry. I live in an apartment complex, so there's weird things happening all the time. Anyway, I thought that was interesting that I think it's slate and it does have a light pencil effect. Um, but it's like a perpetual one. It takes forever to go through. Um, and that's what I thought was really interesting. Morandi blue pencil. Um, but I think it's called, you know, like a forever pencil or per perpetual. And that's what I think it is that back in the, you know, 1800s, even into like the Depression era, um, a lot of people had to use like slates to do their homework before, you know, uh, paper um, was definitely... Um, dispensed far and wide and was cheap enough for people to buy to do their homework, etc. Um, I've got another ring for you. This is a size 7 and it's got going to fit on my pinky. Nope, it's going to fit on... Okay, so I've got to remember not to buy 7s because I'm between an 8 here and something else here. So, <laughs> teeny tiny little hearts. I don't know if you can see that. I don't know if it's going to be so I may have to give that away because I don't have, it's too, it's too loose for the pinky and it's too tight for the ring finger. So that is a size 7. So I know right now <laughs> that I'm probably going to have to give that away to somebody else. It's just a little band of tiny little hearts, gold hearts. Next is, I think there's a couple of these. I'm starting to run out of places. Um earrings I could not resist just because they are tigers. They're leather teardrop tigers, both sides, again, with the shepherd hook, with the uh, ball and spring, and I just, I thought they were pretty. I, I could wear them. I actually have a top that's um, sort of butterfly. Going to Kentucky to see my grandbabies in September, and I'm going to be a grandma again. Woohoo! It's a boy! <laughs> I got that one quick. <laughs> Congratulations, Lori. <laughs> I'm losing people left and right. Everybody has to go make dinner on the West Coast, I'm sure. Or TV shows are coming on on the West uh, East Coast. But I liked, I liked that. I like tigers. My calendar every year is usually either tigers or wolves, and I alternate. So, let's see. I gotta put some of this stuff down because we're getting to small little things at the bottom of this bag. So I may have to take them out and just move a little bit. Oopsie. Okay. Who's still with me? Count off. <laughs> now, from my perspective, when I look at me in the, the phone, I'm starting to be jerky. Not like num 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 jerky either. So I don't know if, if my internet is slowing down, if my phone is messing up. Um, how's my speed? Am I am I slowing down? I'll try and hurry up. <laughs> All right. Next thing is uh, I think another pen or pencil. Let's see. What does it say? It just says blue. That's always helpful. Um, I just think it's a, a random pen. Maybe. Random pen. Is this another one of those perpetual ones, just smaller? Oh, no, no. Oh, oh, oh. Okay, I know what this is. See how small that is? All right. This is a tiny little 
like exacto knife. I don't know if you can see that. Teeny tiny little exacto knife. Very tiny. Um, so thank goodness it comes with a lid, I hope. Oh no, it clicks up and down. So it's a teeny tiny little exacto knife. You're still here, I am jerky. <laughs> Okay, so I am starting to jerk. Makes me wonder what my what my phone is doing. Um, thank you, Charmaine, for letting me know <laughs> I'm jerky. <laughs> uh, all right, getting down to the nitty gritty, and this is something that I'm going to be sending to my BFF Leah, and it says to my best friend, because of you, I laugh a little harder, cry a little less, and smile a lot more. I love you. Yeah. See, you can't even see it. It's it's just such a shiny thing. So that I plan on hopefully mailing um, to my BFF, uh, Leah. She is an artist, and she lives about four hours away with her son, my godson, Vincent. Um, and I only get to see her once every year or two. Yeah, I know. I'm sorry. Okay, I seem to be jerking a little bit less. Um, here's another gemstone I got, and I'm pretty sure it is like an agate. I believe it's an agate. Let me see. But it's beautiful, beautiful stone. Does it show up better here? <laughs> so it's very pretty, pretty gemstone. I know the ring light is sort of causing problems, but... Um, I believe it's an agate. Well, hey, Guru. How you doing? Are you back home yet? Good night, Lori. I hope you're feeling good. Feeling better. Fingers crossed for tomorrow. Hope everything's taken care of. All positive vibes. You know, healing magic. It's... <laughs> I texted you right before I went live, man. <laughs> I'm doing a Timu haul. I know you're moving to South Georgia. I know. I know. By the way, the, the other person in South Georgia sent me a friend request on Facebook. So, <laughs> I'm checking with you first before I say yes. So, anyway, got a gemstone. ASAP. Okay. There's that. So that test visit worked out very well. I'm very happy for you. I'm leaving it at that. I'm leaving it at that. Because anyway, we have something that helps cut onions. I don't know if it cuts uh, any other vegetables, but <laughs> I have definitely got a lot of, of uh, kitchen stuff here but yeah just so you can nice thin slices yes you are engaged now you put it out there I can say something yes 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 congratulations Dave congratulations to you and your lady love so I'm happy for you so yay so Wahoo's gonna have uh, somebody to play with <laughs> good 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 I'm so happy for you now you will have somebody that you can do Mask Mondays with. So, speaking of Mask Mondays, there are teeny tiny little masks that I decided to buy just one of to try. Yes. Love of your life for the second half of your life, don't forget. Mm -hmm. Yes. Love of your life for the second half of your life. Yes. So I'm taking this out of the packages first because there's a bunch of them. Um, so I think I mentioned in another one of my videos um, that you can buy teeny tiny little packets of skincare off of Timu. Don't forget to give me thumbs up, people. Um, and here they are. There's like a sleeping mask. They're all, I think, from one or two different companies. This one's from... L-A-I-K-O-U, and it's sleeping mask, moisturizing, repairing, and brightening. Now that's it. That's all you need. It's like three grams. Really? Like 0.11 ounce. 
that's just enough to, to put on at night. And I thought that would be fun to try. Skin Rejuvenating Sleeping Mask. Uh, another one is the Sakura Sleeping Face Mask, which as Sakura is obviously cherry blossom. All right, have fun at the market. <laughs> Buy her something pretty. <laughs> Next is um, a shea butter, like a, a shea butter um, exfoliating scrub. I'm not a, a scrubby dub person, but I thought it would be fun to try. The next item is, a, they've got a peach exfoliating scrub. I'm starting to, to uh-oh, starting to lose color. Exfoliating scrub. My phone is screwed up. Um, and then the last thing was another shea butter exfoliating scrub. Apparently I got two of them. Okay, see. Um, and then... Let's see, the next item is for me, and I do want to add it to my keychain. I am winding down here. Um, yeah, I'm starting to freeze a little. I don't know what my phone is doing. It's it's probably time for a new phone at some point in time. This is an emergency whistle, because every person, woman, whatever, needs some sort of an emergency whistle, you know. It's loud enough to get somebody's attention, put it on your key ring, what have you. I bought this for me. And the last item because we're going to rhyme this up at about an hour. Um, it's for something to put over um, one of the drains, um, either in the sink um, or in the bathtub. And it's just a drain cover. I do have like a little metal grate that fits inside. Um, but um, I wanted to put this over this because I got hair. I got long hair. So this is something to go over the drain in like the bathtub. So that is it that is a timu haul 18 going live <laughs> need one of those <laughs> this is what it looks like Charmaine. because <laughs> what sucks is that you see stuff in timu canada that i may not be able to see in timu usa you know what i mean we can't play the same games together yeah i know i'm i'm my, my phone is, yeah. So, I want to thank everybody that came to visit with me today. Thank you, Jesse. Thank you so much. Charmaine and Guru and Chef Sketty. And I'm not sure if Nora is still lurking. Um, I think, I don't know if Lori's here. I know. Uh... <laughs> yes, so I'm very pleased. I got 14 thumbs up. So much love to everyone. Big, 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 big love. Much appreciated. Mwah. And again, congratulations, Gura. I'm very happy for you. Again, the love of your life for the second half of your life. Definitely life goals, too, for me. Yes. Mm -hmm. So have a good night, everybody. We are wrapping this up just under an hour. Um, Nora was here earlier, Chef, um, but she might have had to, you know, uh, ditch out that's okay <laughs> i'm just happy to see people i was bored i wanted company and i thought i'll just grab one of the darn timu bags so night night everybody i love you all thank you so much <laughs> so all right now how do we end this thing with a bang <laughs> if i can figure out how to do it so okay no i don't want to mute the microphone oh my heavens how do we do this <laughs> Okay, I guess I just hit the button. Love you guys. Bye.